Antiguans and Barbadians must understand that we say what we mean and we mean what we say. They can be assured of the reliability of the words of my government. When my ministers speak, or ministers speak, clearly they are speaking from a commitment. Prime Minister the Honorable Gaston Brown's words were greeted with resounding applause as he addressed those gathered at the King George V grounds to witness the historic occasion. In addition to the Prime Minister, Governor General His Excellency Sir Rodney Williams and Ambassador Extraordinary of the People's Republic of China, His Excellency Wang Xiamin, were among the dignitaries in attendance. The community center project is being financed through a grant from the government of the People's Republic of China. In early 2014, we had a planning initiative involving all of my colleagues. And we said that we would have pursued the country's development in a holistic way. We noted at the time, even before taking over the governance of the country, that there was uneven development throughout the country. We recognized that there was underdevelopment in certain constituencies. And this constituency, unfortunately, is one of the areas in which we had all the development. And notwithstanding the fact that the representative of this area, still sitting representative, had 10 years as prime minister. And that is why we committed ourselves to ensuring that we bring these facilities to this area. With a commitment to further enhance the community and its immediate environments, Prime Minister Brown also used the occasion to further extend this assurance. Before the end of this term, we will spend at least $100 million in this constituency. The housing project that we're doing at Cooks will cost about $60 million. We're also doing significant investment infrastructure work in this community. In fact, we have some solar street lights that have been installed. We'll be doing significant drainage work. And we will make sure that we complete this facility within the next 18 months. Knuckle Block was demolished in 2007, much to the disappointment of many community members, some of whom plied their trade in that very area. They have since been guaranteed that upon completion, space will be made for them to continue their livelihoods. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.